So we're gonna do these really simple drop letters, but first I'm gonna show you how to make block letters to start off. You take any letters and you can do it this way. So we're gonna write the letters in capital and then we're gonna go around them to make them into block letters. That's gonna give you the shape that you want. So you're gonna outline them creating the edges how you want them to be you can do these curved edges i'm doing these nice straight edges and just work your way around each of the letters and you're going to get the shape that you want you're also going to be able to see spacing wise if you're going to need to spread them out a little bit like my e is too close to my v right now so i know when i'm laying out on my design whatever i'm using a rock i'll be able to make the correct amount of space now if you're still not confident to go like onto a rock or a surface you could use a very light pencil line of your letters and outline them as well and then just trace over that right on whatever you're working on so i'm going to transfer love right onto my rock now for this design, I'm writing all you need is love. So I'm just gonna write down all you need is along the top here quickly. And now we're gonna get into our drop lettering. You need to pick a point at the top center of your rock that you're aiming for with all these guidelines. So I'm using the top of my center L and we're gonna create all these lines coming from the outside edges of our letters. So anywhere your letter creates a, a bend, a 90 degree angle, or um, the tips, I'll talk about the O at the end. We're gonna start with the 90 degree angles here. So just create a little line in the direction of your invisible point. Now, if you need to use a ruler or a string for this to help guide you, you can. Um, I just kind of sketch these on. I'm not being super particular about it. You can get very, very specific with this and have nice, perfectly straight lines, and that works well too. So that center line for my V kind of went along the left-hand side of my V, so I didn't end up putting a line there, but you'll see I'm working all the way across the tops of all my letters, and then I'm also gonna go down to the section of the E just like I did on the bottom section of the L here. If you have round top letters like this O, you don't want to cut across the O, so you're going to work your way up the line or start at the tip of your L and come down. Where do you end up touching the O? Get your pen flowing and that's where you're going to create your lines. So you can start at the top and kind of come down to the side and see where does it land. Now you're going to come across the rest of your design. I'm scooping out the tip of my L just because I got too close to my words and you're going to create parallel lines to the original letters. And as you do this, you're going to come up with these shapes that you're just going to fill in completely black. So you're gonna follow along the edge of the original letters connecting these outside lines. The O line is gonna be the same curve as the top of the O, the tops of the V. Now, remember our cut up from the center of the V went along the side, so we're gonna actually connect about where that would be, cap off all of the E. I know it sounds weird to try to explain this, but visually, I think you see what I mean. So we're gonna fill in the rest of these letters. I'm gonna add on a couple cute little hearts here and a few dots as well, and we're done. I'm going to also link to more Valentine's rock painting ideas, whether you're painting these for your Valentine or just to hide around town to spread some love. Will you be painting rocks for Valentine's this year? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Happy painting.